Hello everyone, I'm your host Connor Neckmans, welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. Previously on, we might have learned of a betrayal. Uh, of course it was from a lich, so we can't, we can't trust that source, but there may be a betrayal in this episode. In fact, the title will be called Betrayal. Um, I don't think Arabeth will betray us. It, it could be Linu. My money's on Linu. Look at her. Look at her. Not even looking at me, because she knows she's gonna betray me. Now, this is probably gonna be a shorter episode, just because it's, it's gonna be the finishing of Chapter 2. I don't want to go into Chapter 3, we'll just save that for another part. Of course, there won't be a Chapter 3, because we'll face Mogram, kill him, and the cult will be done. Alright, let's go. Linu, uh, uh, I mean, the betrayer. Come on, come on. <sighs> Alright, let's go. Host Tower Peninsula, or whatever it was, or is. Seems interesting. Oh, there's a body here. What's going on? What? Who? Who are you, Morag? The you creature reading. Welcome in my service, Paladin. Oh. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Do you renounce oh. your false Here's god of justice, Arabeth de Tamarand? Do you renounce your god, what? your lord, and your people who have betrayed you? Arabeth. I do. What? Will you lead our glorious army in the name of your new mistress? I will. What? I will lead them. Then Arabeth. the terrifying blackguard of our mistress Mora that you were meant to be. I shall. Never winter will fall before our might. What? That was a very uh, important no. of our words oh, of power like you and be located. You must be where he put him, however. Hi there. You have been lax, Morgrim. We have influence. <clears throat> the word of power oh. cannot fall into the hands of the enemy. Uh, it's it's going to be. Oh, the earth take you oh God. There's the boss. <laughs> so, it was Arabeth. But how could she, why would she turn her back on Tyr? They are pretty... I, I still can't believe that she would do that, guys. I, I understand her position, of course, but... What? <laughs> okay, pro tip. I guess you guys never guess this one, that you might want to kill the mages first. <laughs> Who would have thought that? Now, in all honesty, it's actually very, very difficult to become a Blackguard uh, class. You have to start the game as a Paladin and do a lot of evil things, and then you become a Blackguard. Or you can. Gorgoth. Not as strong as he would like to think he is. Ow, ow. Okay, wow, Linu did it. But I can't believe Arabeth would do that. Um, in all honesty, though, like that was the biggest betrayal of my entire childhood. Honestly, it was just, that came as such a big shock to me that it destroyed my very young mind. I was like, "No, Arabeth, how could you do that?" Uh, but you may be wondering, what's Arabeth doing for? Well, we'll be meeting her again. So keep that. Do not lose the ring. Do not, absolutely do not lose the ring. Morgum's lair. Ah, stone golem. What information can we grab on from here? Linu, do not die. <laughs> that would be really anticlimactic. It's just like, oh, we killed all those lizard men. She walks downstairs and gets punched to death by a stone golem. There has to be some information here, but the words of power. Oh, yep, here we go. Morgum's journal. Oh my god. Same old, same old, really. The small book is filled with sparsely with notes in Morgum's now familiar scrawl. Several entries are of particular interest. The tower is ours. That overambitious fool, Ockham, trusted me far too much. I would gladly end his undead existence had his demon witch not sent him away so quickly. Well, he'll have no use to, um, he'll have no use of her advice anymore. I've seen to that. Mor Morag has displeased me, Alva. So far, the wizards and I have sent forth from the tower have found only one of the words of power. She needs them all. We shall have one. We shall the one never went to soon. It's once the last three are located, we shall... All shall be as Morag. Okay. 
have a confident and I remain confident of success. The plague ravages Neverwinter just more like foretold with each death by the wailing she grows stronger. Already she is able to appear in corporeal form and with the coming war she shall even become stronger. I have received word that the old fool Nasher has been successful in stopping the plague. How I have acquired some hope from the adventurers. No doubt the deed is already done with. No winter is weakened, and what strength has left, Morag has gained. Morag says Nasher's execution of the fool Fenthic will only serve us to his greatest champion shall be ours instead. The high captain's dis dis decimate? What? Decimate. Uh, each other every day I just suspected I care not whether any of the fools actually succeed better is they all die for none of them will lead the army I promised them I promised them Morag nightly visits the Erebus who have had the desire to affect the form cloud and has come and lain herself willingly at her feet she shall grant herself host the great host of herself as Morag's champion the words will be ours and Morag shall triumph glorious shall be the day we should have seen this coming, really. We've talked to Arabeth all this time. She should have told us. Uh, Lena, how could you not betray us? Why Why do you, couldn't you betray us? Couldn't Arabeth become our companion? <sighs> it's too much to bear. And again, uh, I don't think I want to tell him. We are fortunate that you have found the location of this cult. I've discovered all I can about the cult and the host tower. Here you go. This enemy is far more elusive than I suspected. The name of this mockery is unfamiliar to me. Oh, you'll know it. As Believe me. As this creature you describe as his mistress, the name Arabeth has fallen to become a black guard, and even leads their gathering army is... is far worse than anything I had feared. Dire, dire news indeed. Dire, dire. I wonder if had Nash not hung but Benthic. What of this mockery's purpose, Maybe friend. this wouldn't have been a problem. Were you able to discover anything of the reasoning behind all this madness? This is perhaps the first good news I have heard so far. It shows us that we are ignorant of much and must catch up quickly if we are to survive. But at least you have brought us hope. Come then. Let us return to Lord Nasher quickly and relate what you have discovered. Then perhaps we will see what must be done next. Oh, God. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. So the next chapter is going around collecting the words of power in case that wasn't uh, clear. But... Within the host tower of the Arcane, the enemy was finally revealed. Morgrim Korothir, Madman, Prophet, the one responsible for the Wailing Death. And with this revelation, a second betrayal. Erebeth, driven mad by her lover's execution, sought vengeance by joining Morgrim's cause. They roused a fearsome army and prepared to descend upon Neverwinter. But an even greater evil threatened the city. The words of power, remnants of ancient magic long forgotten, were being sought by Mogrim's followers to bring devastation to the north. Neverwinter's champions were sent to the northern wastes of the Uthgard tribes to unearth these lost artifacts. For if Mogrim were to find the words of power first, the city of the north would surely fall. I like to think that's what the game thought your hero should look like. All of them should have beards and such. Okay. Hello, greetings, Erangend. So, uh, we have just suffered a huge betrayal. And I, I'm going to have to take a few centuries to get over it. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm still relatively shocked and saddened and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Neverwinter Nights. I didn't because it was an emotional roller coaster, uh, but I hope you did. Next time we'll be starting Chapter Three: The Search for the Words of Power. Is probably what the quest is called. Uh, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Okay, there's no quest, but we're getting that next episode. Farewell for now, and good luck on your adventures, adventurers. Goodbye.